Hello, welcome back. Uh, we got the construction done. I'll get the Thamosurgy next and then, yeah, get some other targets. Uh, probing found nothing, searching found nothing. The team is still getting unrested. I wonder if that is still Maragnon and he's forgotten about it. Uh, we moved into Night Marsh with the mercenaries. That's the swamp. That's fine. Uh, Uruk, we're on now. That's fine. Uh, events, great events. We got a famine, new tremor, lost some population, gained death. Arc, bad harvest, lost all the tax. Land of seven years, bad harvest, lost all the tax. Uh, great one. Discovered a bunch of Marinon stuff. I think he was like sneaking back out of my territory. He bumped into my patrollers in my other fort. Uh, Uruk is unharmed. We've got about 40 seed strength on it, so I guess it's not completely empty. I'm going to have to move some stuff over. I uh, did some patrolling and. Ow! God of Jotunheim has been vanquished. And extremely juicy Durian, God of Nazga, has also been permanently vanquished. So, double tap this turn. Uh, that's it for messages. Yeah, so over here we've got Nightmarsh now with the Mercs. I'll move them back. I'm going to send a few things into Roker as well. 10 units with Pompeius, his buddies. Uh, they should take that. It looks like it's one point of PD, so yeah. And we should have about 100 siege strength worth of stuff on Roker next turn. So we'll see if this does any damage next turn. And then, uh, yeah, I'll keep moving stuff over. Not doing much recruitment this turn, uh, but next turn I'll just start slamming out slings from Umbro to help with uh, siege strength. This time mostly just setting things up to go underwater. Um, so Pythium, I'll just recruit some more Astartus. We'll get some of these guys underwater. Might as well grab a Hydra as well, why not? We'll stick it in the front. Um, away from our troops, hopefully. <laughs> See how that goes. Um, why not? Getting a commander to lead them as well. Uh, mountain, same sort of thing, getting a few units, another commander. Um, this time I'm forging a bunch of stuff in Umbro. So, uh, right with the sea, that's to start summoning yetis at some point. Uh, pills of water breathing, forging four sets of pills. So that's 80 size worth of units. Uh, a couple of water lenses as well. And moving a few little mages over to Pythium. I'll move just a few little mages and some units, I think. We'll see if that's enough to just take this. And then we can recruit some shamblers if we need them in the front. We'll see how it goes. I can move a bunch of communion slaves and mages underwater if it's tricky, but... I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Um, so I'm getting some water breathing pills. We've already got some units here. We'll just move them up to Ancient Woods and two Spruce next turn. And then we'll take Blightlands and then we'll go underwater. Hopefully that goes fine. Um, how many rings have I got? I've got four rings and then I'll have four pills. I suppose this guy can forge another ring, why not? Ah uh, yeah, so research isn't great at the moment, but yeah, lots of forging and stuff going on. And yeah, hopefully we can take the lakes. That would be nice. I am also moving my assassin down to Vilia. We'll see what this province looks like. Maybe this is a throne we can try doing. Uh, and maybe it's a throne we can try assassinating commanders in, which would be quite nice. We'll see. I think that's it for this turn, though. Uh, so that was 31. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hello, welcome back. Uh, Search for sites with arcane probing and manually and found nothing. Took Roker with some Hastatus, no problems. Just uh, one horse tribe cavalry there. It's fine. Uh, so Fecti, we lost 10 income. Uh, Uruk is only lightly damaged. Starting to get a bit nervous that there might actually be loads of stuff inside this fort. Uh, did some more patrolling and Quick Spears left us for Shinu. I put a minimum bid on them, seeing if we could get away with that, but uh, apparently not. We are now doing a bit of unit recruitment though, so we're up to almost 1600 income. Pretty good. Pretty good. So maybe we'll be okay. Uh, that's it for messages though. So a few things happening now. We are continuing the siege of Arak. Um, this will be a nice province when we get it. It'll be 300 income. It's a 300 strength wall. We do have plenty of sieges here now, but we'll need to build it up. I'll need to do 100 a uh, turn. Um, yeah, but I'll just continue moving stuff over when I can. In Umbro, I'm going to start recruiting 
bunch of slingers and her starters. I could just slam out nothing but slingers, but I don't know, slingers are going to be a bit useless in the long term, so I'll just, uh, I'll get half and half. That's probably a compromise that's quite nice. So I'll just start moving units over to Uruk gradually every turn until we crack it open. And that's okay. Um, I have also been recruiting crossbows in uh, Kark as well. We're up to eight of them. They're nice little additions to the army. Just had that on uh, repeat for a while. Uh, but that's okay. Doing quite a bit of mage recruitment as well. I've got mages queued up in all my forts as well as another wizard over here. So Umbro's getting a smallest mage, Theog Acolyte. Pythium's getting a cat mage, a arch Theog, that's nice, and a slave. And Matins is also getting a little tiny Acolyte and a slave. So that's something at least. And Research is currently holding steady at 382. Um, I've slotted Alt 4 into the targets as well. Because um, it would be nice to be able to cast Body Ethereal on that Hydra, I think. And is it, I wonder if there's any way I can get this this turn without needing to. You're not in a lab. You do have an Arcane Probing Caster. Are you enough to. Not quite. It would be really nice to hit that this turn. Is anyone else doing stuff? People are moving, is the thing. Okay, I can leave Selino here in the fort researching, and then he can move to two sprues next turn. He doesn't actually need to move out this turn. Okay, so we can have Body Ethereal this turn, and then we can script it before we even get to Blightlands. That's quite nice. Okay, that's all fine. Uh, yeah, this turn though, I am moving stuff out towards Blightlands to take that. Um, I've given people Water Breathing Rings and Pills. Um, pills are also cheaper in JBBM. Basically anything that helps you get underwater is cheaper in the JBBM balance mod. Um, so these are still A2 to, to forge, but only five gems, which is nice. So I've got quite a few people with pills moving out, plus deleting a bunch of units, a Hydra, a couple of slaves. I've got a couple of little mages as well wearing rings. Um, Selena's down here also. He's got the water lens and a ring. He'll join in as well. Uh, Scipio's moving out with some pills. We haven't got enough pills to bring all of these things underwater, but almost all of them, so that'll be fine. So yeah, a couple of little mages, a couple of middle mages too. Um, one big mage, some units, a hydra, yeah, and we'll put body ethereal on stuff and go underwater. I don't think we'll have too many problems. I'll be able to take this as well on the way. We've got lots of uh, holy magic, then go all the way down to Lake of Seaweed. We could take this, start just recruiting shamblers here as we take this and this and then move them over as well. Uh, it should be pretty good. We'll then get the Thaumaturgy and the Conjuration. Conjuration will let us do water all these underwater if we get that far that soon. Uh, and then we can also get Yetis on the way up Conjuration too. Uh, these are nice units, they're pretty good. We can summon quite a few of them. They should also resist cold as well, which means we can lay down lots of freezing mist on top of them, which is really cool. Seems like it synergizes pretty well for us. Um, so 600 identical muffins, as is Robon already. He's just itching to summon some yetis. I'll probably start doing some Voice of Apsu when we get the Conjuration research for that as well. That's the um, water site searching spell. That's at four. Yep, things pretty nice. Um, I did get a message from In. Apparently Ind... But like did go to war with Mary at some point. Um, I, I didn't realize. And I guess, I guess he thought, you know, yeah, me and him were like double teaming Mary, and I was like, um, yeah, sure, good luck. I'm just taking Uruk stuff. And so I had to tell him this turn. Yeah, um, I sort of made peace with Mary and just settled for the Uruk territory. Good luck. Um, but apparently Mick Clan is now also attacking in, so. I feel kind of bad because I didn't realize he was actually like expecting me to continue helping him with Maragnon. Um, but I said that if the next person I attack will probably be McClan, which is true. Although, yeah, I need to get scouts through his territory first to see what he actually looks like. Yeah, McClan has rolled over Nazca and then he was at war with Ulm, but I don't know what's happening with that if he's now also attacking Ind. Like, he must be huge in just, like, dominating people. Um, Micklin is played by Jay Burton, who's, like, a pretty good player, but he, he hasn't played a game in, like, a year. So, I don't know, I guess he's, uh... 
I don't think he's lost his edge, though. He seems to be doing very well. Ah, uh, whatever. Um, we're doing fine, though. We're going to take a lake, so, you know. Uh, oh, also worth mentioning, this throne doesn't look too bad at the moment. Militias, light infantry, heavy infantry. Might have a bunch of mages here, of course, but I am going to send the assassin over, and maybe we can just assassinate the commanders here. I might as well do something with this guy. Um, he's got Twist Fate and 15 Fire res. I don't think that's going to keep him safe through a Fire Ali, but, you know, maybe. Ah, uh, that's everything for this turn, though. The next time we'll be in these two provinces and we can merge up in Blightlands and go underwater. That's the only plan, really. Ah, uh, that was turn 32. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hello, welcome back. I've uh, got the alteration done, so we can do um, Body Ethereal now. What else can we do? I haven't checked. Uh, wind Guide might be useful on all these slingers we're recruiting, I don't know. Uh, some of the water buffs are quite nice as well. Body Ethereal, I guess our lizards can do Ellie Fortitude through the Communion, that's pretty good. Uh, we'll get the Thaumaturgy Conjuration, then we'll go up the Thaumaturgy all the way to 9 probably, uh, if we can. Robing found nothing. We have now successfully searched all of our provinces for Astral, so that's the end of that. Abyssia has a new Prophet. Okay, let me try this again. Prophet of Cold Abyssia. Uh, event in Roka, Unrest and Misfortune. Our rook's now moderately damaged. It might be empty. <laughs> I've no idea anymore. And uh, did some patrolling in Umbro. Alright, here's the situation now. Still doing quite a lot of recruitment. Uh, Umbro is getting Middle Mage bunch of units and slingers. Uh, Pythium has the big mage paid for, getting a slave and some Hastatus. Little mage in mountains, slave and some Hastatus. Pretty nice. We also, I think, have the wizard paid for. Yep. And a lizard paid for. So lots of mage recruitment going on, and research is still pretty strong. 344. It'll keep going up. Uh, Uruk is still being sieged, moving more stuff over. So we keep stacking up. Uh, so that's all fine. And Vilia, I'm going to attack with a scout, so we'll see exactly what's here. And while I'm doing that, um, Large Donut is going to try assassinating some stuff here as well, so we'll find out exactly how many commanders are in this province, and then see if we have any success killing them. And that would be nice. When we move the big stack over onto Uruk, we'll take this, and then maybe we can move down and take this if the assassin isn't successful. So, some plans happening over here. There's also this throne we can try at some point as well, but first of all we'll get the lakes. Um, so moving a bunch of stuff to Blightlands. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to keep the Hydra alive with this wizard, because <laughs> I've got to keep it like away from my troops. Um, that does make this little wizard very vulnerable, but I would like... I I've put the um, poison resist ring on this one guy. Um, and his job is just to cast body ethereal on the Hydra. Um... Good luck to him staying alive afterwards, I suppose. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, it's just a bunch of starters. They're all in the back on hold and fire. We've got a bunch of gems buffing the units, and then a few big mages doing uh, mind burns. So, not much else to say, really. I mean, we're just hitting probably, what, like six points of PD? And then it's going underwater. Uh, and I'm moving out the other big mage to uh, join them, so they'll be in two spruce. So we'll go underwater. We'll try to take all four water provinces plus the wasteland if we can. Might get some good income out of that. And then we can start putting temples down underwater as well. Uh, we do need stronger dominion. Especially if we want to put up dark skies one day. I mean, not much point having dark skies if you've got no dominion, I suppose. We have four temples so far. But yeah, I mean, no income usually. I was thinking of delaying recruitment next turn, though, to get down a fort in Kark. Maybe start putting up buildings here. I mean, it is a really good province. It would be nice to have a good ported province that doesn't have, you know, 200 unrest all the time. That would be nice. So maybe I'll do that. Uh, not much else to say about this turn. I mean, I am grateful still for the position we have on the map because we've been ignored by Miklan, which is good, but because they're like on a rampage. Uh, Mary is now just fighting in and ignoring us. And we don't really have a border yet with uh, Machaka. And Machaka also seems to be dominating because they're... <laughs> looks like they're about to roll over Fiesha. So, I mean, they're really big. And Miklan is really big. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to concentrate on these little indie stuff. Maybe get some thrones. 
And my focus is just going to be on making sure we can stay safe from these people when they turn their attention on us. Um, I think ideally we will just turtle and just take the friends that we can. And then try to play for like a late game research thing. Try to win that way. Which I've never done before. <laughs> so I don't know if we like to get any research done, but we'll try. I really need better economy though, I think, to make sure we can always recruit mages. Well, we'll see what happens anyway. Um, another thing that's happening this turn is I'm doing a lot of forging, just because we have so many pearls. I had like way over 130 pearls, and I'm just doing nothing with them, so I thought, well, there's always a bunch of astral items that are useful, so forging a Starfire Staff, which is an astral range booster, Crown of Command, which is a leadership item, uh, and then I've got a bunch of spell focus and Eye of the Void being forged as well. Uh, I don't see any reason not to do that, we'll just make sure we've got a stockpile of like useful astral items just sitting around and that's fine. We'll hit Thaumaturgy 5 next turn so we can do um, Soul Slay. And then after that we'll get Yetis and Water Elementals. And then next up hopefully is Galegate. We can cast that with my god when he wakes up. He he has A4 so he can just forge himself a hat and cast that. Uh, and that's it for the turn I think. So that was turn 33. Thanks for watching. Um, I guess since this is probably the end of a video, if you've watched this far and you're not subscribed to the channel, then you know please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, got a Patreon if you'd like to support the channel and so on. Um, I'm so bad at this stuff still, but thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.